Hi you all, so um, this is not really an update video because I haven't really got much done because I've had a busy weekend, as you can probably see. <laughs> what do you think? My lovely new hair from my twin sister who done it for me when we were at the barbecue on Saturday. Um, there are photos on my Facebook um, but I'll probably include some of the back um, later so you can see what it all looks like but we have purple, blue, green, yellow and red so i have a rainbow it's awesome and i love it my sister done such a fabulous job so super happy with it but anyway the point of this video today is to show you um a little crochet box um it's called little box of crochet now it's a subscription box this is me buying it um i'm not sponsored i've not been given it i've not got codes or anything i i wanted to try a subscription box and found this one um and thought i'd show you lot as well so this is the first one i've had so you only just signed up um and so it arrived today so i haven't even opened it yet i've taken the outer wrap off and that's it <laughs> so i thought i'd show it all you so it says amanda's bloom amanda's it says amanda blooms little box of crochet now you can see it's probably to do with the royal wedding um, theme because you know we've got the little corgis and the carriage and things. Um, but should we see what's in it? So, oop, we open up, we got a little thing thing that says, hey, let's crochet. So let's see if we can gently remove that. Anyone that knows me knows I hate ripping paper wrapping paper and things but I don't think there's any way to get a stick off tissue paper without ripping it but never mind it's pretty tissue paper okay so the first thing on is a little booklet which quite pretty um so let's see what's in it shall we so it looks like an intro to the box I'll read all this properly later myself um then it's got what's in the box, so we'll need that in a second. Oh, it's got some abbreviations, UK and US, so that's going to be handy. Um, then we've got some patterns for the teacups that you see on the back. So I thought we got some pattern to do that, those teacups. So that's quite cool. Um, Looks like it's everything we need to do teacups, so looking forward to that because it's got little flowers and all sorts on it. And it's all got pictures. Um, can I show you? If I cover that, I think I can just show you. You know, it's got like pictures showing you step by step on things. So that's really quite handy. Um, then it's got some fun facts and things about different areas of the UK from the looks of it. Taxis, Windsor and gallery gorgeousness. So it's got some really nice stuff. Really interesting. I'm not sure how much I can show you for copyright so I won't show you too much but basically yeah it's got the pattern to do the cut which I think is quite cool. Um, and then some interesting facts and some abbreviations and all that sort of stuff so it's a nice little book. So we've got to have and to hold, 19th of May 2018, Harry and Meghan. So, yeah, we're right, we're wedding. <laughs> um, that's basic postcode, uh, postcode, postcard. Um, designed with love by Nicola Rowlands for Little Box of Crochet. So. And then, okay, so the Make Arcade, exclusive design for Little Box of Crochet. Margaret the Corgi Felt Sewing Kit. Make a keyring or badge. So, it's got stuff in there. We've got stuffing, some threads. Um, we've got a bad pin like I sell. Um, I think we're looking under, just underneath, you can't quite see it, just underneath is a keyring as well. Um, and then obviously we've got the felt and things. So, that looks quite cool. That might be a nice little set, so I'll probably make that at some point. Um, Kouru? K-O-R-U? 
Clay Studios, is it? Cushion this place. Coolclaystudios.co.uk. Here we go. That says the name of that on it. And what it is, is a little stitch marker. How cool is that? So that's quite nice. It's that's the type of clasp it's got. Um, Closes up, so that's really quite nice. That's, I've not had a clasp that's like that before. Most of mine are lobster claws, um, so that's an unusual clasp for me. But it's quite nice. I just noticed on one side it's actually got a little gem, and then the other side it's just the actual pattern. So that's quite nice. Um, English tea shop, English breakfast. So we've got a tea bag. Um, tea of all teas. We love our rich Cillian black tea. We think you will too. Organic Cillian black tea. Ingredients organic, pure Cillian black tea. 100%. Tea brewing four to five minutes. By the way, I'm saying Cillian, but I don't know if that's what it's pronounced. It's C E Y L O N. I don't know if that's going to focus enough. I don't know if you can read that, but hopefully you get the gist of it. Okay, well, oh, we have a little sewing needle, which is quite nice. And this is what it came in, stabbed into that, so that it's nice and safe. That's a little felt ball. So that's quite cool. No stabbing myself. Um, we've got DMC5 metallic pearl thread. So that's nice. Um, the colour code on this is 5282 for anyone that's interested. But this is really quite pretty, isn't it? Um, 100% polyester. Ah, here we go. It's 25 meters, 27.3 yards. So it's not a bad amount, is it really? So yeah, that's pretty. So that's going to be for the decoration gold of the cup. That's quite cool. Then we have whoop, we have a crochet hook. Um, it's 2.5 millimetres, I don't know if you'll see that, it does say on there, yeah I don't think it's going to focus, it's in the, it's like imprinted on it so you can't think of it, but yeah, that's not bad, I could do it a new 2.5, I have some, but I don't have many, and this one will actually be stronger than the ones I got, because though I like mine, um, yeah, see, these are the type of crochet hooks I have, but I find I bend them when I'm doing because I like to crochet my toys rather tightly, obviously. Um, I'm bending those hooks, so this might actually be better for me to work with because I might not bend it so much. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. And then we have this ball. So it says yarning colours must have. This is a 50 gram ball. And it's 125 meters, 100% mercenized cotton. Um, it says hook size two to three point five millimeters. So two, I think that's. I don't actually know what it means, but I know some of you do. Um, it's called opaline glass, and it's color zero seven four. Focusing. So, um, I've never used this before, but it looks pretty. Um, see if there's any more info about what it is, shall we?
Yeah, so yeah, there's 50 grams of the opening gas, and then we have, because these ones don't have labels, so... Oh, they do have labels though on the bottom. So this is 20 grams of cream cotton. So these are must-have minis. Um, Colour 002. So... Um... Yeah, ten gram. They're each ten gram balls, which is twenty five meters. So that's twenty five meters, ten grams. It's not pretty. Feels lovely. Um, those what um what are the other ones? It's zero point three five ounces and twenty seven yards. If that's helpful. And then that yeah, it's yarn in colours. Must have minis. So well, two of them. So twenty of them, twenty grams, and then. This one is, what have we got, so, this one must be the peach, let's have a look, yeah, okay, and this is colourway 042, um, so, I don't know if you can read any of that because it's quite small, but yeah, it's colour 042. They've actually got a label over the top, so it was obviously a label for something else originally. <laughs> Never mind, but yeah, so this is 10 grams, 25 metres, and I've got one of them. And then, this one doesn't seem to have a label, but um, it's salmon is the colour they give it, um, and it's another 10 grams. So that's the salmon, and it should be the same as all of these, so I don't know what the colour code is, because it's not here on the braid, but, I mean it's the same size as this, but it looks bigger, because this one is more squishy, and this one's quite solid, so this one's been wound much tighter, they are both 10 grams, which means it's probably 25 metres in that as well. Um, and then you've seen the gold thread. No idea what these are, let's have a look. So this has been designed by Kate Brunen of the Greedy for Colour. So, here's a picture of all the bits that came in it. We also got these. Um, there's several of them. I don't know what they are. They're, they're plain on one side, thing on the other. So, I don't know if they're little note cards or. I honestly don't know. Doesn't really say. They're nice though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really care. It's nice, I like, that's all that matters. Yeah. But so, if I can put this all back in nicely. So, other than those two, which I'll put back in a minute, this is how it all came. I can show you it without falling. That's how it all came packed in. So, it's really quite pretty. Nicely done. Tissue paper to stop it going anywhere. Um, but, just do this back up 
a minute so that we don't lose anything because I don't want to lose it. So I will show you the mates when I finish making them. Um, but I'm quite impressed with that actually. Um, that box I get is £20 I think. The, um, it's basically the little box of crochet.co.uk. So this is... Is it showing it? They do um, a 28 advent calendar payment option, a 20 advent calendar one payment, little box of crochet, little box of candles, not so little box of crochet, and you can also buy the past boxes. What's with the lighting? There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I get the little box of crochet, which uh, here we go, is 17.95 a month. Um, plus postage. Um, in the UK, postage is three seventy five. In Europe, it's four pound sixty. Anywhere else in the world is five pound ninety five. Um, but I actually paid for tracking postage on mine because there was the option for that. Um, I can't see where it says. I think when you order it, you can choose. Um, so I actually pay. I think it's twenty two pounds a month. For mine to arrive but tracked I do tracking on everything I can because my post likes to go missing so I track everything because apparently couriers and postmen can't tell the difference between windmill clothes and wind whistle way I mean I know they both start with W but that's about it <laughs> but so I think it just goes for a wonder so yeah I, I'm happy with what I got anyway I think there's a reasonable amount of that and it's enough to do the project and I think possibly a bit left over so, yeah. One day maybe I'll try the big box, but for now we'll stick to the small box. <laughs> but as I said, this was paid for by me and they don't even know I'm doing this video. They'll probably never see this video, but it's what I got. So, yeah, I, I, I like it and um, we'll see how it goes making it. I'm quite impressed with the hook because I do need some better smaller hooks because though I really love my metal ones the smaller ones do bend so that will hopefully prevent the bending and I think it's going to be comfier on my hands that bigger holding I mean at some point I plan on covering my smaller hooks with Fimo I just haven't got that on it <laughs> um, it's just not top of my priority but I'll get there at some point um, I do have footage of parts of my hair, some photos and things of my hair being cut, so I'll try to add them in at the end. Uh, I didn't get any footage of the barbecue because we were just having fun. <laughs> and there was a lot of people there and I didn't, I wasn't going to go around and ask permission for everyone to be on the camera, so I just didn't bother. <sighs> so I didn't really get much done because um, we got up early on the Saturday went straight to my sister's and we spent all day there and then come home and then went back because we were so shattered and I spent most of yesterday recovering from Saturday so I didn't really do much yesterday either uh, and the whole past week before then I've not been feeling very well so I've not got much done I've been doing some study I'm still working on it because I'm on a block I'm finding resources and I'm taking notes but I just I can't get it started um, I've got like the headings let out and I've got ideas of what I want to do but it's that initial start on the section of the sentence for the next paragraph I just I'm struggling with it so but I've still got time I'm not panicking yet so I'm all right I'll get there um, today is my next uh, creative writing group so I'm gonna go to that looking forward to it nervous um, I missed the last one because I wasn't feeling very well um, but the problem is it's made me more nervous of going back. I mean, they're lovely ladies, it's just part of my agoraphobia. If you miss one, it's hard to get up and go. You just want to miss the rest and you kind of crawl back into yourself. Um, and I really don't want to do that, so I've already contacted the lady who's going to give me a lift. Um, and she's going to get me, so I can't back out because I've already <laughs> said that I'm going. Um, and I, that's something I need to do because I'm never going to get my agoraphobia sorted if I don't push myself to go out. I mean, Duncan meets me up at the pub when he finishes work, so I feel slightly safe because I know he's always going to be up there anyway. 
Um, so I'm only up there a little while before he gets there, but he's just not back in time to take me up. So hopefully it'll be fine. Um, I've done my homework for them, I've done that today. So I'll take that along with me. Um, can't remember what today's session's about. Let's, my phone will unlock. Does anyone else have that with an iPhone? Don't know what you do. It just doesn't want to unlock. It drives me insane. So let's have a look. What's today's session? Debbie, who runs it, has gave us a um, list of um, what she plans on covering for each topic for each day. Sorry, brain's not working. It is There we go. Okay, so last one, the one I missed, but she emailed me the details, was writing in numbers where every word counts, and our task was we had a grid with 100 spaces to put words for um, a happy memory, and we had to write that down in 100 words or less. And then we had that grid times two to do a story on journey. That was our theme, journey, anything on the journey. And we had to do that in 200 words or less. Um, so I've done that. It was close. I got it to exactly 200 words. But So that's helping with being able to say things but not saying it in so many words. Saying the same thing in a short amount of words makes easier reading. And it's something I've been learning to do with my TMAs. So it was actually really helpful for me. Um, but this time around is a, in a manner of speaking effective dialogue. So it's going to be interesting to see what we learn today. Um, but this so far is not just helping with the new course I will be doing. Um, in October I start my next module and that is creative writing. This is actually helping with my current one. Even though it's a computer module, we have a lot of report writing and things to do. And this has really helped me narrow down because we have word counts we have to stick to. And this helps change it up so that I can say the same thing in less words if I need to and pick better words and things so it's actually really helping already the next one which is the 25th of June we'll be doing show and tell part one effective description which I really need help with and then the one after that in July will be show and tell part two how not to be too obvious um, um, I have not a clue on how to do anything like that, so I'm really looking forward to learning how to do that. Um, we may be doing some extra ones um, for grammar. She emailed us to ask if we'd be interested in having one for help with our grammar. I am interested in help with my grammar, because anyone who knows me knows I need the help. <laughs> but not everyone is, so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, it may be that we have a separate session that only those of us are interested in, or it might be that she just emails us some exercises, as not everyone wants to do it. Wait and see. But she's been really nice. She knows I'm doing creative writing module in October, so she said I can ask her for any help I need if I don't understand something, so that's really good. So I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, I, I I always loved writing, but my spelling sucks, my grammar sucks. And with brain fog, I forget what I thought of, and I don't write anything down. So I just gave up on the idea of writing. Because, you know, if you can't spell, it's kind of hard, isn't it? But she's given me more confidence in doing it, so I'm really looking forward to my camera's flashing in two seconds. Anyway, so, you know how it is, camera timing out. Um, so, what was I saying? Yeah, she's been really helpful in giving me my drive to want to do it again. Because I, I really did enjoy the arts past and present module I did, which was not just about art, it was about literature, music and architecture. And there's a lot of really interesting stuff about literature in there and I really enjoyed it. So, I'm glad to be doing more on it. Whether I'll ever write a book is a different matter. I have loads of ideas, but whether anyone else would ever want to read them is a whole different matter. But I think even just for myself, or personal writing, I think it would be really nice. And um, something I'd definitely enjoy doing, so 
we'll see how it goes. So fingers crossed for me that everything goes well today. And I don't panic and run away. Anyone who knows me knows running is not something I do. If you see me running, you know it's the zombie apocalypse and you want to start running. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't really... I started knitting Unicorn from the set that has the fox and the panda and the rabbit. I've started the Unicorn. <coughs> Sorry. But I didn't get far on it because I, te I took it with me on Saturday to do. But just so much going on, didn't have time. The lighting is going terrible. I'm really sorry. I don't know if this is going to help or hinder. Because just glare. But it's got ooh, quite dark outside all of a sudden. Must be a load of cloud cover. But you can't see how shiny my hair is in the dark. Because in daylight, if you see those who saw the original photos and then the daylight photos, you can see the difference. <laughs> my daylight, my hair just glows and it's so cool. But you can sort of see there's the other colours. But I will put photos at the end so you can see the other colours. But my sister did a fabulous job, didn't she? So, really love it. Um, yeah, I haven't really got much else to report. It's been quiet. Hubby's got some time off work in June and July, which would be nice. June um, is more of a celebrating that I finished my study for the first half of my second year because it's part-time study it takes two years to do one one year um so we're going to go down to devon visit me in laws hopefully um, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and the niece um i'm waiting to hear back uh just to confirm the dates are okay for them if not we'll have to do something here and then july my youngest son is going on holiday with my mother which i think i've said she's taken him to legoland um i'm pretty sure i said the place wrong last time around um because i said i couldn't remember so he's he messaged me on skype earlier to tell me where it is where was it can we see denmark there we go he's going to denmark to legoland in denmark how awesome is that but yeah mum's taken him there so while he's off in there, Dunks took some time off and me and him can have a little holiday. I mean, by holiday I mean we'll have days out somewhere or get the house tidied. <laughs> Not a real holiday. We don't, we don't go on holidays. <laughs> Too much to do. Uh, but it, it'd still be nice that he's not off working in London for four or five days. Because he's supposed to do four days in London, one day home. But... It's been so busy with this new data protection stuff that's come in that he just hasn't been able to take the time to work from home. Yeah, people liking my Instagram posts. Yeah, if you haven't, if you're on Instagram, check out Stylecraft. Um, those who like the candy swirl, um, apparently they done some colours that were never released for sale in this competition to win three balls. So, if you aren't sure where, um, where to find Stylecraft. <coughs> if you're on my Instagram, I shared the picture. And if you click on the hashtag they give, which I think is Stylecraft giveaway, can't remember, um, it will then take you to the original post, hopefully, that will show you what you're going to do. But it can't hurt to try to win some yarn, can it? Uh, much has to say. I said it's been a really quiet week as such on making things. The doll's almost finished. Um, tiny bit more hair to go and then I just sew on her face and things with her nose. So look at that. What beautiful hair. Some people are telling me it's a little excessive but I like dolls with big gorgeous hair. I will do some dolls with less puffy hair, but this one is designed to have big puffy hair, that's part of the appeal. So, she's almost finished. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of it. There's still the other dolls to get hair on because my husband's slow, they say talk of the devil. 
So I'm guessing he's working from home on Thursday because we're going out for a birthday meal with my in-laws. Um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law always take us out for a birthday meal each year. What they do is, mine and Maui's are in April, um, so they take us out together. Um, we're actually going out for Reese's, which is in February as well, because we didn't get a chance to go out for his then, because he's always off doing something. So it's mine, Mally's and Reese's birthday meal, and then come September, it'll be Duncan's and my older son Kurt's birthday, both in September, so we'll go out for a meal for them as well. So that's quite nice. We're going to um, it's Harvester, I think it is, but we call it the castle. But they do a vegan menu, so I'm able to eat there. Um, a gluten-free vegan menu, which makes it even better. So, there's not many places you can go and eat when you're gluten-free, dairy-free, minimum vegetarian, aiming to be vegan. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's going to be nice to go out for a meal on Thursday. It means I don't have to um, cook. Not that I cook. <laughs> say so don't have to cook. I don't cook. They cook. Duncan cooks Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Well, Sundays we often go up to my in-laws so they cook. <laughs> um, Kurt cooks Mondays and Wednesdays and Mally cooks Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't cook at all. It's quite nice. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I think I've rambled on for like, what, 20-30 minutes? Um, all I wanted to show you was that. <laughs> so, if you're stuck around this long, wait, because I know most of you don't. <laughs> um, if you're stuck al um, along to the end of the video, let's play a silly game. Let's have you post in the um, comments something silly. Let's see. Um, I don't know, what silly word could we put in? Rainbow, to go with my rainbow. If you've made it this far, comment down below rainbow. There's nothing for a competition, it's just a bit of fun. <laughs> just be nice to see who actually makes it all the way through my videos, because um, most of you don't. <laughs> I'm not surprised, I get boring. <laughs> but it's still nice to see some people do. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go try to edit this and um, the footage from my hair all together and um, pop it up because, I mean, the last video, as some of you noticed, took about six hours to get edited, exported and then uploaded. Ridiculous. So this one's going to be a lot less. The last one was an hour long, so... <laughs> but this one will be better, hopefully. So until whenever, next time, whenever that is, I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.